Welcome friends to another day with Jesus, a seven minute encouraging word from Pastor Preji. As you listen, we believe this word will strengthen you for the day. Greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this beautiful new morning. I pray that today we will draw closer to the Lord. We will have a fresh understanding on what he wants us to do, how he wants us to change our lives how he wants us to grow in our relationship with him every day that the lord speaks to us every revelation that he gives us every time a fresh teaching a new podcast comes to us there is a purpose there is a reason there is a hidden instruction behind all the content all the revelations that the lord is depositing inside of us Apostle Paul would explain this to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5. He says the goal of our instruction is love from a pure heart and a good conscience and a faith without hypocrisy. He says the reason I'm writing these letters to you, the reason there is constant mentorship over your life, the reason there is this constant content that is being deposited into your spirit timothy is so that you can love from a pure heart today we have to ask the lord to teach us how to love from a pure heart we are not going to be able to love from a pure heart because the people that we are loving they are good and they are perfect and they are lovable no the purity of our love will come because of the instructions because of the revelations because of the help that we are receiving from the lord every time god speaks to us it has the capacity to prune and purify our hearts we cannot allow the world to be the one to determine how much purity there is in our hearts we have to allow the word the spoken word of god the written word of god the taught word of god the revealed word of god jesus the incarnated word of god to be the one to constantly purify the motives of our heart purify the agendas the reasonings the logic the emotions that goes on within our heart in order that we will be able to love with a pure heart we need to be able to love god with a pure heart and we need to be able to love the people around us with a pure heart sometimes our love doesn't come from a pure heart it has selfish motives we need something in return we want people to view us in a certain way but today these instructions that are coming to you it is purifying your heart the second thing that it needs to create in us is a good conscience is a conscience that is sensitive to the holy spirit a conscience that is understanding of the things that hurt the heart of god there are certain things that we can indulge in which can quench the holy spirit when we train our consciences when we train our hearts our minds to be sensitive to the things that the holy spirit is sensitive to then we can have a good conscience see sometimes we numb the voice of our conscience we don't want to listen to what our conscience is speaking to us and every time we feel that prick within us we will just watch something or we will just uh, distract ourselves we will just go do something fun so that we don't feel guilty or we don't lose respect in our own eyes but today we need to allow the lord to work with our conscience to train our conscience to help our conscience to be in a good condition when the lord tests our heart he needs to be able to see our conscience and say okay this is healthy this is good this is growing this looks like how i had originally created it to be and the reason these instructions are coming to us the reason we should listen to the word of god every day the reason we should read the bible every day the reason you should not miss a single podcast that comes to you every morning 
is so that your conscience can be trained in a good manner. Your conscience can receive a revelation of what is good. See, Adam and Eve, they made a mistake. They went to a tree to teach them what is good and evil. Whereas they should be going to God, to their relationship with God, to their fellowship with God, to know what is good or what is evil. So today, may your consciences be trained into understanding what is good. And the third thing that Apostle Paul says is the reason these instructions are coming to you is so you develop a faith which is without hypocrisy. The problem with so many people in the church is not that they do not have faith, but that this faith is adulterated with doubt, with questions, with concerns, with fear, and sometimes even with hypocrisy. In other words, we would believe that God heals everybody, and yet when we are away from the presence of God, we confess the exact opposite. We don't agree with what God is speaking. We want to pray and ask God to provide for us. But when we are away from the presence of God, we are speaking negative over ourselves. We are speaking fearful things over ourselves. We are confessing the plan of the enemy over ourselves. So today, the Lord is restoring faith and a faith that is without hypocrisy. Love from a pure heart, a conscience that is good and a faith without hypocrisy. He says, this is the goal of our instruction to you, Timothy. Can I speak this to you today? This is the reason why I do podcast to you every morning, so that you will have love that comes from a pure heart, so that you will have a good conscience, and so that you will have a faith that is without hypocrisy. Let's pray together. Father, we know the goal of instruction. We know the goal of these teachings that come to us. We know the goal of these revelations that you deposit inside our spirit. Help us, Lord, to live our lives in such a way that we allow you to purify our hearts, that we would allow you to give us a clean and a good and a healthy conscience, that we would allow you to develop in us a faith that is devoid of any kind of hypocrisy. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, dear listeners. Hope this word ministered to you today. For further details and resources, or to leave your testimonies of how this podcast has blessed you, do connect with us at pastorpreji.com. May his divine favor surround you today.